everybody welcome back to join the garden and we are getting ready for spring 2020 so one of the first things i'm going to be starting this season is some of my flowers and i'm going to be trying for the first time begonias begonias grown from tubers and here i have three beautiful tubers that i am going to be setting and if you come along with me i'll show you exactly how to plant begonias from tubers get them get to get them going early in the season so that when summer comes they'll be ready to put on blooms all summer long okay so when you buy your tubers you will see that they do have a bit of a funny shape if you think of them compared to let's say a dahlia they are round they're almost like a small potato and on one side they've got a convex a concave shape rather and on the other side they're convex so they are a bit rounded and if you hold them like that you can see the round part just fits nice into the palm of your hand and then the top of it has a dip so when you're planting it the top part is what sits upward because that's where the shoots are going to come out of and the rounded part at the bottom here is where the roots are going to come out of in this one here you can see it's already started sending out little shoots so that's a clear indication of what part should be pointing upwards be careful not to plant this bit facing down because it will have a really hard time writing itself up and it's going to probably die so make sure that the rounded bit nestles nicely into the soil and the concave bit points upwards or faces upwards and that's where your shoots are going to grow from so to start the process off i've got a little container here this is just some of what it was packed in so i can leave that at the bottom there it's going to rot down anyway and we're just going to use this to start our begonias off to get them going so i'm going to start by putting a layer of soil in compost potting mix anything with good drainage you're going to put that on there then i'm going to nestle these on top of it put a little light layer of soil on top again and then we're going to water it in lightly and keep it moist to really get these begonia going so here let's go So we're starting off with a layer of soil. It's really very easy. And we're gonna keep this in a nice light sunny location here on my windowsill so they can get going. And these are gonna take a few weeks to sprout. And once they get going, I'm going to put them on into individual containers. Now these are a cascading white variety of begonia and these will look great in hanging baskets or just put into lovely terracotta pots on my balcony i am going for i rather favor a mediterranean theme in my garden and even though these are not mediterranean plants per se i think they are going to look rather spiffy so yeah we're going to go with that yeah that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> so there we go so it's sat in like that. We've got the rounded bit sitting in. We've got the convex, the concave side rather, pointing upwards. And then we're just gonna lightly top it off with, lightly top it off with some more soil. We don't wanna cover it too completely. Just lightly covering it. We just want the tips of the begonia still visible through the top of the container so there we have it and it is really as simple as that so now that i've got that there all i've got to do is water this in lightly right so now that it is nice and nestled in the soil we have just the very tips of the begonias peeping peeking out the top of the soil all that's left to do now is to water this in lightly. And I'm just gonna water around on the soil just to make sure that everything is nice and moist. We want these tubers to plumb back up because they've been sitting there desiccated all winter long and they are full of genetic material ready to come roaring into life for the springtime. So getting it nice and wet, nice and moist, is gonna make sure that these plants are gonna, you know, come spring to life again. And there you have it it is as simple as that so like i said i'm going to keep this in a nice bright location right here in my windowsill and in a few weeks time hopefully we'll have some new shoots some new growth showing 
and then we can put them on. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you see here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Are you going to be growing begonias this year? Please let me know. I'd love to know. And if you are, what types are you growing in your garden? So see you again soon. Bye.